Hey guys, Alex here, creator of the CrocFit app, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's workout is a kettlebell pull workout, focusing mainly on back and biceps. However, because the kettlebell is such a functional piece of equipment, of course, the entire body is gonna be working with some of these exercises as well. And that's one of the great benefits of using a kettlebell. What I'm gonna be doing is creating more workout videos to create a workout split for you. Today is a pull, I'll be working a push, legs and core as well. This is not a follow along workout like most of my workouts because I use reps and rest periods rather than intervals. But it's easy enough for you to follow along with what I'm doing, press pause or just do your workout at the end. So give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, let's get into it. The first exercise is an alternate arm bent over row for 20 reps. So going for 10 reps each arm. Make sure you keep a straight back facing the floor Slightly bend your knees. Make sure you're engaging your core the whole time. With this angle, you can see the focus in the back, driving the elbow up as high as you can and squeezing the lats, squeezing the back muscles. Really important that you engage your core in this position. After 20 reps, rest for about 30, 45 seconds. And on this workout, we're gonna stay on the same exercise rather than move around a circuit. So stay on the same exercise for four sets. And then let's move into the next exercise, which is this bent over row and then stand. Four times 15 reps. With this exercise, I want you to row it in towards your stomach or lower chest, and then keep it in that area whilst you stand up. The reason for this is because when you're pulling, I want you to drive those elbows back. And as you stand up, you'll be able to initiate movement in the glutes, the lower back, and have the whole posterior line working together. You can see in this angle, as the elbows are high or behind you, you can then stand up and squeeze. So make sure you keep the kettlebell in contact with your stomach as you're doing this exercise. When you reach down, make sure you stretch the back of the shoulders, and when you lift up, squeeze the mid-back muscles. Again, stay here, rest for 30, 45 seconds, and do four sets on this exercise before moving on into the next exercise, the goblet squat and bicep curl, one of my favorites. Hold the kettlebell in a goblet squat hand position, however it feels comfortable for you. Open your legs a little bit wider than normal, outturn your toes, squat down low with your elbows between your knees, and then extend your arms and get that stretch in the bicep. Complete the bicep curl all the way at the top, and then stand up. Just by holding the kettlebell in front of your body here is gonna be working your back. And when you're holding the kettlebell up into your chest, make sure you're squeezing the bicep and pulling the kettlebell in towards you as much as you can. Again, stay here for four sets of 15 reps, resting for about 30 to 45 seconds each time. Like I said in the intro, of course, this is a back and bicep workout, but this is a functional full body exercise. Your legs are gonna be working, your glutes are gonna be working, your core is gonna be working to keep yourself upright. So make sure you keep a nice, straight, strong back and focus on good quality technique. When you rest and do four sets, we move into the next exercise, this overhead or American swing. And the difference with this swing compared to a normal swing is we're going above your head rather than just to stomach or chest height. And the reason why I've added this into the workout is because when you drive the kettlebell above the head, your shoulders and your traps are gonna have to do some extra work and a bit of pulling. And this is a pulling workout, so it is perfect. But make sure everything about the kettlebell swing remains the same. You are hip driving, softening the knees, but focusing on the hamstrings, the posterior chain, and then driving the kettlebell up above your head with strong shoulders. Your end position should look like a complete straight line from your feet all the way through the body, through your torso, and up through your arms to the kettlebell. Again, four sets, 15 reps, with 30 to 45 seconds rest in between. And then you move on to the final exercise, which is a squat to high pull. And with this exercise, again, we're using the entire full body into a good quality squat, touch the kettlebell onto the floor, and use the momentum of you standing powerfully, driving the hips forward to drive the kettlebell up to chest height. Focus the whole time on keeping your elbows higher than the kettlebell. 
drive your elbows up, squeeze your shoulder blades together and your traps. And then we're gonna be getting those deltoids, those traps and those pulling muscles working extra hard here, as well as the entire body. Because like I said, this is a functional workout. You will feel, of course, the back and biceps working, but you'll also get sweaty. The heart rate will climb. So we're becoming fit, strong, leaner, and more athletic. Once you've done four sets, you can rest. And that is the workout complete. Well, I really, really enjoyed that workout. I hope you guys too. Make sure you look out for the other videos I've made for body weight and dumbbell, and I've got more coming with kettlebell soon. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, download my free CrocFit app for more workouts, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.